Alright, I'm just wasting everybody's time here. Let's see if this helps. Hmm, hopefully that... I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> um, just do this. Pass after that, I guess. Oh, I guess I could have activated the the wirewood symbiote to untap the Solvala, but oh, well, made a whole bunch of zombies. So yeah, you good. did. Uh, just a reminder to everyone that all subs, donations, and cheers go towards trying to upgrade my equipment and possibly upgrade my router at this point. Probably just throw a router on uh, my Amazon list so people can see and give me some feedback as to whether or not it's actually good or not. Because I have not looked at routers in... Pro I think I bought my router like five years ago. So it's probably just a time to get... Hey, thank you so much, McCastmit25, I want to say. Woohoo! Thank you so much for that sub. For the Twitch Prime sub. We're going to spam that emote. Routers are a little bit. Uh, it depends on what kind of router you get. Um, I want to get one that's a little bit higher quality. And then probably try and bring it into this room and make sure I've got uh, make sure I've got hard line connection in here. Got to test that out. Probably just do that tomorrow. Check with my service provider as well. Some routers work better with certain providers. That's fair. I should check with them. I it's really weird. Um, I mean, yes, subs and donations will go towards beer. Eventually. Um, I should check with them. My issue with... Uh, yes, I, I do stream with Wi-Fi. It has not been an issue uh, at least in a long while. Like last week I had some problems. This week we're having a little bit of trouble, but yeah, I haven't had issues with it before. I also stream from a laptop because I am a just terrible streamer. We'll just say that. Um, but yes, I'm going to work on trying to get the the actual connection in here so I can get a hard line directly into that router. So my issue with uh, trying to contact my ISP to figure out what uh, what router works best is the fact that um, I have had issues with ISPs in the past where I bought a router while I was in college, had some issues, um, the ISP came out and, uh, what do we have right now? Six. Sure. So, I guess... Big one or the rest, I guess. Yeah, I figured as much. 
Um, so we contacted them, the rep came out, and then they swapped out my router without telling me. Actually, I bought both a mo modem and a router, and they swapped out both without telling me uh, with one of theirs because they thought I was renting. And so um, I was kind of upset because they stole my property, essentially. And they were like, oh, well, you can just have those. Yep, that sounds about right. Valdor, thank you so much for the $5 donation. I believe that was $5. It looked a little too quickly. Yep, $5. Buy a new computer stat. Definitely something that I'm working on. Do it. It is a gaming laptop. Um, it is a, an HP Omen, so it, it is pretty hefty. It's just... Uh, kind of depends do we get a land yeah it's very no oh jeez i'm sorry <laughs> it is very true <laughs> that um yay we got there well bloody sight they actually came in while i was gone and my roommate was there i, I would not threaten someone with a gun for sure um because, especially someone who's just doing their job. Uh, but, yes, they came in while I was out at class or work and came back and it was a different modem and stuff. And I guess they thought we were leasing it. And so they were just like, well, you can keep the ones that we put out there. And I was like, N no, that's not how this works. Um, and so I went to the local office and they gave me back my... Uh, my my router but my modem had actually been put back into the system because it was the same as one that they actually used so they gave me basically a slightly upgraded version i guess of the modem but gave me a way worse router so i got my router back but i just i still don't trust isps very much because of that at least for house calls and stuff broken harbinger question for me in chat how what's is a good mono green commander or does it really matter um depends on how spiky you want to go I guess. Because you can always go Vorinclex. I like Yeva. Yeva's good. Yeva is a very good mono green commander. I'm I sure. mean, I, I think it kind of depends on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Like, if you just want to go good stuff, or if you want to do a theme, because you can do elves, you can do snakes. Galta. Yeah. Nilla says Galta. You can do Galta. Galta's good too. Yep. There's always druids. Druids is one. Mm -hmm. Druids, yeah, you can play set on. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's quite a few options. There's there's kind of a range. Omnath. Omnath's great. <sighs> you are limited, same thing, same time you go any other mono color, but... <clears throat> well, green is basically the entire color pie, so... Yes. <laughs> Thought I got rid of <laughs> this always, card. It's always a good thing. Hmm... Guess maybe I didn't update this. 100% because I thought I got rid of this card. I replaced it with something else. Yeah, Kamal is a good one too, Bloody Sash. In this one, I thought. Selvala's pretty busted. Yes, Model Green Selvala can be very busted. Uh, land. What else do we get? Two lands. And. Chief and Eerie Interlude. Alright. Spin the wheel again. Signets, cutthroats, land, land. Okay. Man, Wild, you are just. Did you just yep. actually put lands in your deck? 38. Man, I don't believe you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm getting modoed. That's fine. Better here than in an event there where there's actually money on the line. That's... This is silly right here. Hmm. Okay, 
Well, we can do... I don't want to do this, but I guess we can do this. Also, just <clears throat> do that. Just do that for now. First phase. Get out of there. I'm just going to come after you so I can untap my Silvala, so you're welcome to block it. Yes, Umbral Mantle can go infinite, and I try not to do and sort of Parnas, yes. I try not to do that. Well, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Mm-hmm. What's coming at me? Just the Copper Horn Scout, for one. It was uh, mainly so I could untap the Silvala. I mean, I guess I'll kill it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I ever get back into this game, but... <laughs> uh... Yeah, you can bounce it, though, with Wirewood, if you want it. I think it's only as a sorcery? Nope, I can only do... I could have done it, but whatever. Do not care that much. That's a good card. Ancient Craving, Sphinx of Dwar Isle, Workshop Assistant, you say. And tap this. We're going to. Bounce the empath. Untap that. Tap again. Draw a land of elves. Hey, look, a land. Scholar. Um. All right. So play the elves out. Digging towards that tower. 13th Fox, I have a recommendation for computer commander layout. Put the face cam in the bottom right and drop the on-screen chats to make the battlefield bigger since it's already pretty small. Uh, yeah. I've done that in the past. I like the on-screen chat, though. It's mainly for the, um... Mainly for the archives, so people can see when I react to chat and talk with chat. So you can see on YouTube. Um... Okay. Guess play out the empath again, see if we can draw another oops, didn't need to do that. Trying to draw into this land. Could make the chat smaller, like one fourth to one third the width. Uh, yeah, I probably could. I th this was designed by our graphic designer at work, Emiko Rari, who makes them for a bunch of people. So, I don't know. I trust her as far as like aspect ratio goes. Okay, so I did not draw into it, so I will do this. Um, I think we'll go. No. Nah, I don't know that I want to do that. I like it, but I don't know that I want to. 
This doesn't really do much right now. Yeah, run it out there. Why not? Oh. <laughs> well then. I mean, I have Chupacabra in hand. I can deal with that. Yep. That's true. I didn't even think about that. It's going to waste my turn, though. It's almost like I was trying to get something out of your hand. <laughs> well, I didn't draw land, so I have answers. Um... Oops. Well, here's another thing that you have to deal with. Get rid of these cards. Hmm, did I know that I can activate? Yes, I did know that. <laughs> I can activate Mirror Entity for zero. That is a thing you can do. Uh, <laughs> have I experienced MTG Arena by now? Yes. Uh, yes, DM Cross actually was streaming it. Um, quite a few people, a few members of uh, the Viper Brood stream team, which we actually have listed down there, right there. Um, and you can go check out a lot of those people under the team members section, the panel underneath the actual stream channel if you're on desktop. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, so you can check that out. And a bunch of those people also did uh, stream them the other day, Gabby Sparts and a few other people. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing it for a little while. I think it's fine. I'm excited to see where it goes. That's my big thing. Oh, I also want to tell everyone that, uh, I forgot about this, but I will be attending Gen Con again this year. So if you're going to be going to Gen Con at all, uh, which is the first weekend of August, I will be there volunteering uh, for the Ultra Pro booth. And with. And I will be hanging out in the evenings probably looking for games of commander at least one or two evenings probably going out some other nights yeah economy is what i've heard a lot of people say that they are the most upset with currently um i think it's pretty unique i think being able to open up a bunch of packs and then saying hey anything that you get over four just goes towards getting extra stuff is fine i know people <laughs> were saying that they complained about you know well, you know, once standard rotates or whatever, then I'm, I can't like dust all my stuff, which I get that's upsetting, but I've also seen people who play Hearthstone say like, I wish I didn't have to go through that process. I wish there was another way that I could do stuff. <laughs> the Jack, I have to say, since I subscribed, I built four decks, one for sure budget. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for uh, coming to hang out and play. And I hope you have fun with it. It is unique, but it's slower than the Hearthstone economy with a massively larger assortment of cards. That is true. Because um, I've heard, like, I don't play Hearthstone, but I've heard uh, a bunch of people talking about it and saying, like, you know, you have to... Uh-oh, there's an extra turn card. 
saying that you have to, you know, that, that you only get like one of each legendary or you only need one of it, each legendary or whatever. So that's yeah, definitely... Yeah, apparently you can only have like one of each of the cards with the higher rarities anyway, so you don't only need one. Whereas yeah. you need like the four Scarab Gods for blue, blue black midrange, yeah. for example. Is it possible to get more than four copies of any card in Arena? Uh, once you get past a uh, fourth, then... Um, well, this is some garbage here. Once you get past a fourth, uh, lab maniac. Yeah, I think it's just it's dangerous. Lab maniac, everything else, and you can just take your lab maniac, I guess. Oh, took everything else. Okay. Um, but yeah, once you get your fourth or above your fourth, fifth and above, uh, it'll go towards opening a chest. I think a lot of people are mad that Mythic Wildcards aren't in that chest any longer, though, only available through packs to incentivize buying them. Well, so they had... Uh, th so when you started off, they had, whenever you opened the chest, there was Mythic and Rare and Uncommon and Common. But one of the complaints was that there were too many Mythics. All of it coming at me. All right. I think they kind of misunderstood the problem. I think people were saying they are getting more mythic than rare things yes. and, and that... their response was to just lower the amount of mythics and not do anything to the rares which doesn't really help anyone mm -hmm. and that's what i think uh was happening for sure is that they just didn't... so hopefully they'll fix that and they just misunderstood because like sure it's true you don't need as many mythic wild cards as rare because like if you look at the most standard decks they have like four to eight mythics and then like a huge chunk of rares and some commons and uncommons I mean, it depends on the deck for sure, but... <laughs> so, I guess I have to kill that Felidar Sovereign? I, you don't have to. I mean... It depends. Oh, there was an extra there. turn spell. Well, what extra turn spell was there? Uh, Beacon of Tomorrow. Yeah, Beacon of Tomorrow. Uh, He'll just okay. knock me down below 40 anyway. Yeah, I guess I don't have to then. It's only upkeep, right? Yeah, it's upkeep trigger. Mm -hmm. A mythic wild card should get any card for sure. Eh. Yeah, like, that's a good idea, but I don't know that it's great. Yeah, I mean, they do want to leave some variation. Yeah, there's... As Bloodside says, uh, wild cards per rarity destroys the purpose of get whatever cards you want. I, I believe that they need to keep the rarity out there, just because then people will just buy, you know, once they get their first couple wild cards, they'll just buy the Scarab God, and then go down oh, so from there. Oh, so are we just dead? Because that's like... Yeah, I think Dreadbeard did negative points here for taking more than one extra turn. <laughs> well, how many turns is that? That was two more, right? Well, that has buyback, so... Uh, it's yeah. going to be at least two more extra turns. And we're probably not dead, but... Or not all of us. Just me. Just you. Shouldn't have played that Sovereign. I don't want to arrange your stinking cards anymore. You're going to kill me. Bell Tower Swings. That was good in City of Guilds draft. Yeah. Two Fly Fire. Hmm. Good card. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna download and try Arena out tomorrow now that the NDA is gone because of the mm -hmm. weird thing that happened to me that I explained earlier yeah. in chat. I just wanted to be sure that there's nothing because it's kind of bugged out, I guess. I don't know. I'll try it out, but like there's not, not really much to try out is the problem, because playing a weird kitchen table format is kind of poopy. Yeah. I hope I hope next month there will be limited, or at least real standard. Yeah, sometime soon. Um, so, but I don't know. I just, I, just, I just don't like playing with bad decks is the problem. Yeah, I mean, so. there's four sets now instead of just the two, but yeah, yeah. it's not full standard yet, but it's pretty close. I hope they implement block constructed though into arena. It would be really easy. Yeah. Since it's no, since it's not in on uh, MTGO anymore. 
And some block constructed uh, formats were really good, I think. Oh man, why do you keep doing this to me? Why don't you pick somebody else? Is it because I'm just bad at making piles? Hmm. I think I would have actually split there because he wants islands more than anything for uh, the buyback. Yeah. Yeah. All at you. Yep. I'm super dead. Wish I could help you, but I can't. He has 22 cards in hand. Well, if there's a patron of the moon somewhere in there, we're definitely all dead. Yeah. Takes another I extra turn. All dead regardless. Hmm? I guess we're we'll probably all just dead regardless. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Treadbeard says in chat, uh, gotta get that life total down, but you're the streamer. Oh, that's here's, a planner kind of portal. Here's a planner portal. Walk the ends. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. <clears throat> hmm. Yep, copied. Ugh. Sure. Bloody Scythe says that watching Kenji play MTGA for two days, it seems like after you reach the weekly, there's simply no way to acquire gold outside from dailies, which limits it to max of like 500 gold a day. Yeah, that's fair. And then you're stuck from getting commons from wins. Yeah, I think it's just... Well, you don't always get commons, right? There's a chance you get something better. I... I've seen people, streamers get, like, uncommons and stuff. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, because I haven't actually looked into it yet. But I'm sure, again, this is also just the beta. And they're tweaking that kind of stuff. And they're going to tweak the economy and stuff like that pretty, pretty much. So should we just all scoop to save time? Because I think we're dead. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he has to keep you around for right of, uh, rights of flourishing. That is yeah. true. Or this. I think that's what you pick always with that card. Can tutor uh, begin it tomorrow with planar portal? Yep, that is true. Six, one, two, three. Yep, yeah. so that's infinite turns. All right, I'm conceding. You got this one, Dreadbeard. Yeah. Good job. Good game. Good games. Probably should have just played I the hurricane earlier. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah, you got you got hosed, Wild Bold. Yep. That was pretty rough.